Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Whether you're in need of a website, domain, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. This week, I decided to pick up a new Polaroid camera, because I haven't actually shot any 600 film since Impossible Project rebranded to Polaroid Originals. So I picked up this Polaroid 636 talking camera on eBay for £30. Now I know what you're thinking. Talking camera? That's right, punk. The concept was that you could record funny messages to make your subject smile just before you took the image. So the natural thing to start taking some photos of was some of my friends. Why have I just seen it say talking camera? Well, When I said check, Wait, what? Look, what's he? Hey, you. I'll do the talking. You just smile. <laughs> what is that? Just fucking smile. <laughs> 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 okay, that's the end. Let's all go home. Yeah. Yay! Yay. One of the initial problems I had with the camera is that you can only shoot with the flash turned on. There's no way of turning it off, which is a bit annoying, particularly if there actually is some nice natural light, but it's definitely not the end of the world, especially for quite a cheap camera. The only control you actually have over the image making is the focus, where you can choose close or far, and the exposure, where you kind of got a slider from dark to light. And this is pretty normal for Polaroid cameras, but yeah, you don't get much control you actually have way more control over the amount of recordings you can take. It's got multiple memory banks, uh, it's quite impressive, and definitely an interesting design choice of where to put the kind of money into the camera. I also decided to shoot some still lives since I couldn't get out to the studio for a few days, so I decided to go to the shop and get some flowers, and I wanted to experiment with freezing them. So I got some different sized glass pots, and I did a variety of flowers in the pots with water, some of the water I boiled before pouring it on, some of the water was straight from the tap. And the reason why I did this was because boiled water freezes clear, so I thought it might just be a nice textural difference. And I think this could have been quite cool. The only problem is that the minimum focus on this camera is 60 centimeters. So when I got the tape measure out and kind of made sure that I was at the right distance, it just wasn't really close enough for what I was imagining. I think this could actually be really cool if I was using something like a studio camera, uh, like the RZ67 and I could do some nicer macro shots, but with this camera, maybe it didn't come out quite how I was expecting. The following morning, there was a cold snap, and I went back and took some photos of the same stuff, just in the frost, and these ones looked pretty cool, I thought. I have to say, the lens on the camera isn't particularly sharp, and it's quite noticeable on some of the images. I have a good feeling that it's a, it's a nice little plastic number. But sometimes, the limitation is also in Polaroid film, it's not gonna ever be the sharpest image. So, secretly, the real reason I wanted to buy this camera was to introduce our sponsor for the video, If you're looking to build a new website, maybe a portfolio for your photography, is the perfect place to do so. It's a really great all-in-one platform that you don't need any prior experience of building websites to get really professional results. It's got great blogging features and e-commerce platforms, and you can even just buy domains through it. Having a portfolio as a website is something that I consider pretty vital. You need to have a place to show people your work in the best way possible. And in my opinion, Squarespace is a perfect way to do so. So if you're looking to build a new website, or maybe just get a domain, start a blog, or an online store, you can sign up using the code negative feedback and get 10% off your order. So yeah, what are you waiting for? Go and get yourself a lovely new website. So that's right, that's why I got that camera. But I did think it was a, <laughs> it was a time to shoot some Polaroids, I hadn't done it in forever. But yeah, the real secret deep down was just for that. So carrying on in streams of things that I haven't done in a long time, I thought I'd share with you a photo book. And I actually believe this is the best photo book that I've bought in a very long time. So here it is, Polar Night by Mark Mahaney. It's a series of photos made in the northernmost town in Alaska, which for extended periods is shrouded in darkness. The images are incredibly haunting and a lot of the time don't even look real. It's got a really weird 
computer game CGI kind of vibe that sometimes it's just hard to believe this actually exists. It's super captivating and eye-catching, and the layout and printing really allow for the images to sing. And yeah, I, I really like this. I think it's really impressive. I think it might be sold out now, but I think they're doing a second printing. So if you're interested in it, go and check it out. I was hoping for this video to be about shooting studio lighting outside, because I know that's something which apparently you want to see. But unfortunately, my battery for my studio light decided to give up when I was trying to film it, and um, it's only just managed to fix itself. So next week, the next upload is going to be that video. So uh, buckle your belts, kiddo. <laughs> I was also wondering if there are any cheaper cameras you'd like to see me use. Uh, it would be nice to make some videos with more accessible gear. So if you've got anything you'd love to see, just leave a comment. And finally, I actually have two charitable causes uh, to bring attention to. First is a print sale of some really amazing photographers that are supporting the Australian wildfires. My friend Lawrence set this up and got an amazing amount of photographers and some really cool images. And all of the images are sold for 100% profit going towards the charities supporting the wildfires. And one of my images is up there as an addition of five at a reduced price. So. Check that out if you're interested and maybe pick up someone else's work as well. And the other thing is this project that my good friend Ari is doing where a year and a half ago he stayed in the Gambia with one of his friends called Kaladu, who's unfortunately losing his vision. And Aria worked on this series of images which kind of are dealing with the trauma of what's happening. And through the images, Ari is doing some fundraising to help save up to afford Kaladu to get the surgery that he needs to save his eyesight. It's quite amazing, he's already raised £5,500 and Kaladu has gone and done the first stages but he still needs to raise £2,000 more pounds to make all of this finally happen. So I just thought these images were worth sharing and maybe if any of you felt like you could contribute and help out for a good cause, these are two great causes and uh, it's quite nice to see sometimes how photography can be a vehicle to help making the world a better place. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, next week, Studio Lighting Outdoors. See you then.